What's going on, Collider fans? Welcome to a brand new show that we have here. It's called Collider Scoreboard. What the heck is that? Well, I'm going to tell you what it is. We are going to see The Last Jedi, but we're going to predict some of the things that we think are going to happen. We're going to have a bunch of people give their theories, and we're going to find out who was right or who was wrong after we see the movie. We'll have a follow-up episode that you guys will see which predictions came close. And we're going to have five questions today. We're going to go through it and one wild card question. But here is the first question right off the bat to let you guys know. Who are Ray's parents? Will we find out whose Ray's parents are? I'll start and I say the answer to this question is yes. We will find out who her parents are. However, I think her parents are someone that you've never, people you've never seen before. Ken Knapsack, here's the question. Will we find out who Ray's parents are? It is 1041 on Friday, December 8th. I want that marked. Zoom in, Adam. I want it marked. I don't want anyone to accuse me of cheating. Yes, we're going to find out. And it's Bob and Jane Ray. Ray's not even a real name. But it's just going to be some nobodies. Yes, I believe we will find out who her parents are. This is getting a big yes from me. I think after all this discussion since Force Awakens came out, it is time that we learn who Ray's parents are. And I also have a very good feeling that her parents is going to be someone we've seen before. No. No, we're not going to find out who Ray's parents are. I don't think we're going to find out who Ray's parents are. I think they're going to keep us in suspense. No, we won't find out who Ray's parents are in this episode. They're going to hint some stuff. They're going to drop a little bit of ideas about maybe where she came from. All right, second question here is in the realm of Benicio Del Toro's character of DJ, will we find out that DJ is someone that we have heard of before? I have to go with a no on this one. No, he is DJ. He is a slicer. No. Uh, Benicia Del Toro's character DJ is a slicer, and that's all he is. He's not Ezra. No, I don't think uh, Benicio Del Toro is going to be anyone of significance. Uh, well, his name is DJ, so I'm hoping he actually is a DJ, but I don't think he's anyone that we've ever seen before. No, I think this is a brand new character. I don't think he's a Sith Lord. I don't think he is Ezra. I don't think he is Darth Maul reincarnated. I think he is just a criminal that they hire to help him do a job. Question number three here. Kylo Ren, we see him pretty rotten in the first movie. Will Kylo Ren go to the light side of the force? No. No, and I don't want him to. No, Kylo Ren will, I think he will go rogue. He's not gonna go to the light side at the end of this movie. No, light side is not gonna happen. It's way too soon. Yes, I do think he will go to light side, but I think that Kylo Ren is gonna turn on Snoke. I'm gonna say yes. Um, I think we saw a hint of it in the trailer. He might eventually, he might nine. I like the idea of a Kylo redemption story. I know he was a, a, a killer. I know he killed Han Solo, but there's something in him. There's still good in him. Here we go, next question. Now, the opposite side of that. Ray, will Ray go to the dark side of the force? Yes, I think Ray is gonna go to the dark side. They've been hinting at it with all the marketing material. Ray is absolutely not going to the dark side. Ray will not go to the dark side. You cannot have Ray go to the dark side. It's a big no for me. I think that they're teasing you too much in the trailers that they want you to believe she's going to the dark side of the force. No, she will not go to the dark side of the force. In my opinion, what I think she's going to do is play like she's going to the dark side of the force. I'm going to go with another no on this one because I think it's going to be a similar path to Kylo where she might be tempted by the dark side. Our last question that we have here before your wild card prediction, obviously, will Luke Skywalker die in this film? Yes, I do think that Luke will die in this movie. I think he will be a force ghost in episode nine, guiding either Rey or Kylo or both. Yes, I think this was in the cards. This is to my point of Ryan Johnson serving the story, not the, not anything beyond that. I think Luke is not gonna make it, but we do get force ghost Luke in nine. No, I think Luke lives. I think he will go into uh, the third part of the trilogy, and then I think he will die in the third part of the trilogy. I think I'm leaning towards a no on this one, and it might be because I don't want him to die. No, I don't think Sky Luke Skywalker is gonna die in episode eight. I think they would also save that for episode nine. I think he's the one that will guide Kylo Ren back to the light side in episode nine. 
You, you and I bet $20 on this months ago, and I'm standing by my prediction. There is not one chance that Luke is going to die in this movie. You might think he's going to die for a minute, but Luke is the heart, the Skywalker trilogy. And now that we've finished those particular questions, now it's time for the wild card predictions. Everyone that you've heard so far on the panel or people that have given their theories will now tell you a wild card prediction. Ken Napsok, out of all your predictions that you've come up with, give us a wild card prediction. What do you think will happen in The Last Jedi? I think, for reasons I don't fully understand, that General Leia will become one with the Force, not die. Almost like when God called Elijah back to heaven in a fiery chariot, I think she will have some other purpose or mission on the other side. I made this prediction for episode seven, so I'm gonna make it again. I think uh, Leia, is going to use the force in a more substantial way. Snoke is gonna end up being someone that we met in Rogue One. We will learn more about Snoke in this and it will shock us when we find out who it is. Porgs saves everything. You probably know where I'm going with this one. Straight to Porgs. Porgs are important, that is my prediction. Rey and Kylo Ren, for whatever reason, they're going to team up and kill Supreme Leader Snoke. I think we're gonna have a couple of references to the prequels. Now, whether or not that's a planet of Naboo or something, but I do think there'll be a reference to the prequels coupled with the force ghost of Yoda. All right, so that's it. You've heard everybody's theories. Now, this is why we call this scoreboard who got the most right? That's up to you guys in the comments section here to decide. Who do you think out of everybody, including the wild card theory, who do you think got the most right and why? Have a discussion about it, comment about it, hit those likes, talk about it, share the video. And after we see the movie, we're gonna do another one of these follow-up videos to come back and find out exactly who was right, who was wrong, who had the most on the scoreboard. So once again, get those comments in there, do a hashtag on Twitter. Christian was right, hashtag Collider Scoreboard. Ken was right, hashtag Collider Scoreboard. Thad was definitely wrong, hashtag Scoreboard. Go ahead and do it. Have a lot of fun. Subscribe to this channel if you've never done it before. You should, you get a lot of fun videos like this and catch up the next video. It's coming out really soon.